Advanced prostate cancer is driven by two sources of male hormones called androgens. Testosterone comes from the testes, or gonads, while another source called DHEA comes from the adrenal gland. In advanced prostate cancer, testosterone is blocked by physical or chemical removal called castration to starve the prostate cancer cells from their energy source. However, this method usually eventually fails as prostate tumors begin to rely on the DHEA from the adrenal gland and use it to make their own testosterone, or DHT. Dr. Sharifi and colleagues previously found that men who have a specific genetic variant called HSD3B1 have higher levels of 3-beta-HSD1. Therefore, their prostate tumors are quicker to utilize this alternative source in the absence of testosterone and make more DHT. Because of this abundance of androgens to fuel the prostate cancer, men with metastatic prostate cancer are typically treated with additional drugs to eliminate the alternate source of DHT. One such drug that has shown promise in clinical trials is called abiraterone. However, abiraterone is metabolized differently in different men. One metabolite called 5-alpha abiraterone is structurally very similar to androgens, therefore is known to stimulate the growth of prostate cancer cells. Dr. Sharifi found that men carrying the variant HSD3B1 had the highest levels of this potentially problematic metabolite. Therefore, it is possible that abiraterone is not appropriate for this subset of patients, and more studies are needed to examine the clinical consequences in these men.